Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go into a video that it's for all of you out there being noob and being new in the game and you feel like you are performing way less than the others you don't know what to do in the game to be better you're trying to figure out how to play this game because to be honest guys this game it's really complicated, really hard, so many game modes so many characters to pick and it's Marvel, you know, it's a universe with everything being uh, in plethora and you're getting all these gifts daily, you're getting all these materials that you don't know how to use and we're gonna go through five super basic things that everyone, it's five, not ten, five super basic things that every single new player or noob player needs to go through if he wants to stop being noob, mas noob master 69 and he want to become an actual legit player yeah it's easy to say that yeah you are vip 15 and i'm vip 0 that's why you play the game and it's easier for you but yeah this has to do for a small percentage but generally it's up to you to be better and all this video, uh, all this idea, it's super inspired and inspired specifically from a dude in my Discord last three weeks asking for every single piece of beep. We have tell him everything. We are trying to explain him how to play the game and he can't really understand. So he's good. He, he's a good boy. I'm helping him with uh, GBR. His name is Mist. And I'm, I, I'm trying to help him daily with the GBR carries and all this stuff But every single time he's asking something really weird And here I put five really, th really important things I want to communicate with him and with the DMs and the chat in the Discord It's really hard, but it's also for all of you out there that want to get help in the game Start from these five and you're gonna be fine after this Believe me, 100% legit player. So, before we go through all the things I want to tell you, make sure that you have smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down below in the comments if you knew all these five or you just find out something really, really weird and you, you never heard about that before. So, let's go into that breakdown. Number one and one of the most important things that you need to pay attention it's your character stats. The character stats, you, if you want to figure out the stats, you need to go through here, press the details, and here it's the stats. Stats is statistics, what his uh, abilities look like. The first thing you need to pay attention is this thing here. This thing here you can see from here and it's physical attack. For this specific character, the attack for every single character as the first stat is uh, here and you can see if he is working with physical attack or energy attack. There are examples out there using uh, energy attack like it's Storm, let's say. You can see here, Storm needs energy attack to perform and do damage. Your Captain America needs physical attack. You can figure out that because most of the times the physical attack it's way the, the stat that one also you know if you have high physical attack on the character means that your character uses physical attack but in the first page is way easier after the attack stat which is the most important stat and you can get it from multiple ways like it's uh your iso set you know you have isos that gives you specific stats as this thing here gives me all basic attack, all basic attack, all basic attack, all basic attack. Uh, this one uh, works for, uh, you know, for energy attack and physical attack, but something like Urus are working only one way. So you need to equip on this character physical attack to increase his physical attack. Other than attack, the second and third and fourth really important stats is ignore defense, you want to be capped at 50% at every cost and the next one it's reduce cooldown duration and the next one is attack speed other than these three stats the rest of the stats in this it's not really important it's important only if you use specific CDPs if you want to play at the very end game 
But if you don't have 50% ignore defense and 50% reduce cooldown, you are playing the game wrong. You can't perform in the game. You're seeing videos from people using their skills like that and that's because they are using the skills with 50% cooldown. If you use your skills with more cooldown, with less cooldown than this, you're gonna press the skill and skill need some time to, you know, go through the cooldown. So you need 100% having 50% reduce cooldown and ignore defense. Ignore defense does the boss actually take damage. If you don't have ignore defense, the defenses of the enemies in PvP and PvE is going to be there as they are. So, as an example, my defense is here, physical defense and energy defense, it's 60, 60 uh, 26,000 uh, uh, as you can see. If I'm playing against someone that has 50% ignore defense, my defense is gonna go through his ignore defense, so he gonna hit me way harder than when I have 26,000. I'm gonna be like having 13,000. Uh, 13,000, uh, 13, right? Yeah, 13,000. So, the point here is that without 50% ignore defense, it's not exactly the numbers. Of course, perhaps in world boss it's different, but 100% without 50% ignore defense, you can't kill any world boss in the game. The dude was struggling killing uh, Null, and I was trying to explain this thing too. Other than Ignore defense and cooldown, I told you it's attack speed. Attack speed makes your character cast actually the speed that you are using the skill. So when you are pressing your fourth skill, your character is going to do some movement. The movement, if you have like no attack speed at all and you are at 100, when you do your skills, it's going to be like, like that slow. With 130% is what you are seeing other use and youtubers and the score in abx and the characters do that you know they are attacking normal if you do with 100 attack speed the characters are attacking like that so when you're pressing his key a skill and the you know the content creator tell you you know what after two seconds close uh hot hold, cancel the skill they are talking about 130 percent attack speed if you don't have the attack speed, the same attack speed, you need to wait more for the character to cast actually the speed, the skill. The rest of the stats, critical rate, critical damage, dodge, HP, it's, you know, more specific and you don't need to know about that. But what you need to know, it's 100% having the stats I have here, 50%, 50%, 130%. -50%. And where you're gonna find these stats? You're gonna find them from the Urus I told you, from the ISO set, your ISO set provides you big numbers of ignore defense, cooldown, and most of the times some extra attack or something. Other than that, it's from uh, your uh, custom gear, but we're gonna talk about that later. Also, from your uniform option, your uniform option most of the times can give you useful stats that makes you cap. As you can see here, I'm using skill cooldown on this one to help me cap my skill cooldown. And after that, the things that affect all your account, it's like cards and swords. So your cards need to have, as a, at the end of the day, something like 25%, 20, 25% to 35% uh, cooldown duration and 30% ignore defense. This is the minimum you should have if you don't have any cooldown from your swords. So, you wanna find out and have some cards that gonna boost your ignore defense and skill cooldown so your characters are easier to cap to 50%. If you are not there with your cards, you wanna go into your swords and see if you can find yourself some cooldown, like I have here. Cooldown duration 2.7. This 2.7 adds up with the other you have from your swords and at the end of the day, you can end uh, you look at this, it's 3.2. So it's already 5.5% cooldown. If you're gonna see, most of the characters already have their shelves uh, 10 to 20. You are adding the cards, you are adding your swords, you are adding the ISO set, you are adding the Urus, and then you have a character that actually play the game at the normal mode. Every other is playing the game right now. 
of course as I told you you can say again that if you are uh, a whale and you spend you can go through really easy yes but you need to go and focus on the stats you need in the game Pierce it's the end stat that if you have everything perfect you, f you care about your 25% peers. If you want to max score, if you want to complete uh, everything really fast, you go for peers. Other than that, you don't need your peers. You don't need peers in the start of your account to perform. You just need the 50% ignore defense, 50% cooldown, and the attack speed that helps you a ton. So, that was the first one and it's really important. So, let's go to the second one. The second and one of the most important also is how you play the game and what characters are you using on the teams. The team up that you are going to pick up, it's the, one of the most important things in the game. One proper team, let's set as example, it's this one. I am using this team to farm rifts and what this team has as a, a really, you know, as an important thing to mention and for you to make it understand what I'm talking about. There is three different parts on the team. Netmarble has done something cool on that and they're letting you select characters that are supports, attack, uh, leaders or damage dealers. And that's the three categories that you need to know about. Leader, support and damage dealer. In this case, my leader here it's Nicholas Fury. And for leadership, you want at least for we're talking about PvE, player versus environment, and that makes you understand that it's the the modes that you're playing: rifts, ABX, ABL, auto clears, uh, world boss legend, GBR, all the things that you're going against uh, non-human beings. You know, so here the lead is this thing here. It says leader and that means when you are using the character in the middle of the team up when you use a character in the middle of the team up he is the leader when your character this specific character is leader provides 60% basic attack by all to all characters so in this case because he's giving basic attack doesn't really matter who you're gonna give the basic attack to but in some other cases there is characters that provide specific stats like Ebony Mo here. Ebony Mo it's a leader for energy attack. So you can't use your Ebony Mo with characters having physical attack as the main stat I mentioned before. So if you want to use a leadership that provides you energy attack, you need to use character having energy attack as main stat here up as I told you before. So, in our cases, Nick Fury provides the leader that you can find out here up to 60% to all the team. The team I'm using, it's Rogue. Rogue uses physical attack. I could use a physical attack leadership also and having similar results. In this case, Rogue is the damage dealer. On damage dealer, you need a really busted character, tier 4, tier 3, but super build to go there and do all the hitting for you. While Nick Fury is the leader, Coulson has to be the support character. The support character is something that has exactly the same characteristics like the leader, provides you a buff, but without being in the leader spot. So, as you can see here, the leader ability for him is pretty bad, decreased skill cooldown for 30%, but that's something that doesn't really matter if you are capped on cooldown yourself, as I told you before. So you're going through the passive abilities. The passive abilities this character has, it's the tier 2 passive ability and it says applies to all allies. So you're looking for characters having a passive ability through their uniform or through their skill set and this example here called Song has both. So if you go into his uniform it says that applies to all superhero allies that you have in your group and you are using call while you're using Colson it gives you 30% HP and decreased damage by 20%. If you use the character uh, he provides also the passive ability I show you right here. As you can see here it says increase basic damage deal to super villain by 50%. So I'm doing 50% more damage 
to all super villain. So this is good. It's, it's not hard to understand that this is good. All the supports has similar, uh, you know, looks similar with Colson. It provides to all allies a buff that gives you damage against a specific type of characters. So if you go now and fight against, let's say, someone who is hero, like uh, in PvP, let's say that you're going against Wolverine and Adam Warlock, this support here is not gonna do anything because this support needs you to go and fight against super villains. Super villains are considered all the world boss legend right now at the moment. There are some world boss ultimate are heroes, but we're talking about world boss legend. All world boss legend are villains. Also AVX, ABL, and most of the dimension rifts. In some dimension rifts, there are some characters that consider heroes also, uh, or perhaps some dispatch. But yeah, this character here it's a really decent support character. So you want to form a team that provides a support buff here, a leadership here, and damage dealer here. There are some ex exceptions, like a character, let's say, like uh, Magneto. Magneto himself has a leadership. So the leadership here provides to himself 50%. So because of that, you can use him with double support characters. So in this case, Nick Fury, if we forget that Nick Fury has a leadership, he also has a passive ability. But for making it uh, looks easier, let's get a character like Proxima. Proxima is also a support character and provides you through her uniform some buffs against super villain and super heroes. So as I'm using here Magneto, I can use him as leadership and in the same time as damage dealer. Because his leadership is really decent, you want to combine him, his leadership with two supports so you can take advantage of triple buff, the buff of leader and two extra supports. So the way you are building the team up for PvE specific and PvP is really important for the outcome of the result where you are going against a world boss legend, where you are going against to do anything in the game. So you need to care about what buffs and what every single character provides to you. This is only for PvE, I'm telling you. For PvP, things are kind of similar, but pretty much you wanna go and pick up buffs like uh, Peter's Will here. Uh, it's not, no, this is still for, yeah, Peter's Will here, this is one. Decreased damage, uh, def uh, decrease damage taken from super villain, super hero. This is the kind of support character you need for PvP, something to decrease the damage you're getting or increase the damage you're doing against heroes and villains. And for leadership, you need a character that has this line of text here. Remove all debuffs. If you don't have here, the enemy stun locks you, makes you being like this. In the whole fight, you're stun there and looking at the enemy and you can't do shit. And this kind of leadership helps you cleanse your character, uh, dispel your character, say it however you want, but you, when you're stunned, you're getting unstunned, whatever. And without this, PvP is undoable. If you don't use leadership for every single aspect of PvP, you can't play PvP. For Timeline Battle, for Alliance Conquest, for Other World Battle, it's an exception because in Other World Battle there are not leaderships, but there are only passive abilities. So that's why in Other World Battle you wanna get some passive ability character like Colossus, like Wasp. Wasp cleans all the team and Strife. There, there is some characters that have the leadership as a passive ability. So pretty much leadership support damage dealer or else you're busted, you're out. This is like the second most important in my opinion and let's go to the next one. Next one has to do with every single character specific one by one and has to do with Obelisk. Obelisk is one of the most important things that you have in your characters. If you don't have an Obelisk in your character, it's like playing, uh, it's actually an RPG. Obelisk is the weapon you are using against enemies. It's like playing an RPG game like World of Warcraft, Lineage or whatever without having a weapon. 
you can't play it, right? You can't kill the enemies without a weapon. So every single time you're do, you are equipping a custom gear means that your character has the weapon. Without the weapon, your character can't perform. And this weapon has multiple ways to be, uh, you know, taking advantage of it. The most simple way is the obelisks. The obelisks is really, really ridiculously hard to understand and make evaluate what is good for you, what is bad for you. But I'm gonna explain you right now with what is for PvE, what is for PvP, and go through some facts like some CDPs are worse than obelisks and this is fact. If you have this CDP, do not equip it. It's bad. You don't want to equip this specific CDP and some other CDPs. The, the fact that you have a CDP doesn't mean that if you equip the CDP to the character, the character is going to perform better. You need to understand and know what you are doing using the weapons in the game. It's like using a shield for a character and trying to attack to the enemies with a shield. This is a shield with a hole. It's, it's used, uh, can't be used for anything. Not PvP, not PvP. But yeah, let's get it from the start. Obelisk. Obelisk has a really, really nice thing which is called invisible here. That is the proc, the, the thing that you need for PvP. That means for yeah, three seconds, you, the enemy can't kill you. He can't kill you only with specific kills, skills actually, but yeah, actually he can't kill you. And it has 10 seconds cooldown. So if you wanna go through PvP, you need first of all guard break immunity, which is here also. You can say that the obelisk has guard break immunity from this little shield here. And as soon as you have guard break immunity, you have priority against the enemy using your skills. So what this means, means that if you go in front of another and the other has stun in his first skill he's gonna use or an iframe, he's gonna go through the iframe or the stun, well you're gonna try to use your skill and your skill is not gonna work. That's why guard break immunity or GBI, a lot of people say, it's 100% must have for PvP. This invisible here, it's only useful for PvP and also gives you uh, the shield that you can stay with you alive, you know, for more. This is an example of a Nobelisk having something that you're gonna see people say this mini raids, all the small raids. It's because it's similar to how CTP of Raids works and pretty much this thing here for 8 seconds no, for 5 seconds with 8 seconds cooldown provides you a buff. This buff gives you basic damage by 1% for all of your car for all of your uh, 5 seconds. So for 5 seconds you have 1% damage per 1% dodge you have in your character stats. Okay? So that provides this is good for ABX, ABL and World Boss Legend. Generally for PvE, this proc here. So, one good thing is the invisible here with guard break immunity. One good thing here is this damage. This is the mini raids or uh, small raids or whatever you're gonna see people call it. This one has exactly the same. This one has the other thing that you are listening a lot. This is the proc, the proc obelisk. And they call it proc because it's for one hit. As you can see, for one attack, you have 140% damage. The attack could be uh, more than 2 or 3 seconds. I mean, if you use for some characters the 5th skill, the 5th skill do some skills, you know, take some time, 3 seconds has passed. All this attack is gonna have a 100%, 140% uh, increase. So, it's really hard to make it happen, but when you make it happen, this 140% is gonna scratch, you know, it's gonna smash the enemy boss. And you can say that Obelisk has this proc by this little symbol here. So, it's the mini raids that I told you before, which is this one. It's the Obelisk proc, which is this one. This is the best that you can find, the 200%. And this is the best that you can find for the mini raids, the 1%. You're mostly using the 200 proc and the proc and obelisk like this for characters that have a really big hit 
and they can cancel all of their skills really fast and focus on the damage on one skill like the fourth skill like the fifth skill like the tier three skill like Hela is as example and the mini raids is for characters that you need to delay the, the skills when you're playing you need to press the fifth skill stay a bit press the third skill stay a bit press the fourth skill it's some characters that takes time to play like magneto you can't play the same with all of your characters this is the three main things you want to go for this one this one and this one the rest are you know you don't really care other than that from the first stat as you can see here critical uh, guard break immunity is the important thing for pvp for pve you don't care about the rest of the obelisk that much of course you can go and find some critical damage you can go and find some fire damage Fire damage has to do with every single character. If the character uses fire damage on skills, you can figure out seeing the skills of the character. But that's something I'm going to tell you later on. So you need to understand what you want to do with the character in the game and after equip obelisk or CTPs. CTPs are pretty much the same thing as obelisks. As you can see here, this is a proc, this is a proc. You can use this CDP with a proking obelisk as this is 140, but you need to find out CDPs for specific characters, etc, etc. As I told you before, specific CDPs are good for nothing, and it's way better using this obelisk for a character that has fire damage, or actually for any character that can take advantage of this 200% proc, instead of using this thing that it's not actually good at all. I can explain you but this needs a whole video to explain specific for every single CTP but that was an introduction on everything so you can figure out what how you want to use your character first and after equip the custom gear which is the weapon of the character let's go to the next one the next one the number four actually is farm guys log in and farm the game if you don't log in into the game you're losing the check-in rewards as you can see there are like three or four every single day and gives you extra things to use for your characters if you are losing the logins you can't say after that i don't have materials other than that you need to go day by day and check all these game modes that there are here if you farm them if you don't farm these game modes you're daily losing materials from the materials that you can farm and stack up on your account and use them when you want to use them every single time you're using like this you know a, uh, an, uh, a mission like this the mission goes below down below here and tells you the next time that you can go and complete this thing pretty much you want to use everything in the game you want to complete all the game modes everything everything it's uh, not the same important but the game as it is it's completely auto play or auto clear like i did here you know clear like this you do that and you clear the stage you go into the next thing you don't need to spend any time there is the multiverse invention that you need to actually play or not to play the game plays itself also same thing for other world battle but the only thing that you need actually to go there and play yourself it's three game modes actually yeah it's three it's world boss that you need to actually play alliance battle that you need actually play and also it's gbr gbr is a game mode that it's not here but it's like the same uh, the same important with world boss uh uh, or else, you know, you can't farm the tier 4 materials. GBR, it's really important and the maximum rewards you could get here, it's something that you should farm daily. You should farm 150 here, solo faulting, every single day and you can farm them for every single boss, oh no, from Galactus and their mom. But yeah, if you can't, I totally get it, join my server, we're doing daily GBR carries, it's down below in the description. Uh, invite for my discord pretty much guys farm everything don't sleep on anything everything is important in a couple of years you're gonna look like this a super whaley account stacking up materials 60,000 of these materials 
and I have all the characters. I can't actually use the materials. But if you are not in this state, I am right now, you can't skip anything in the game. You can't skip playing uh, this because after a week you're gonna miss the ISO set. You can't miss uh, the other thing because uh, here, because after a week you're gonna miss the Phoenix Feathers. So, of course, you should evaluate yourself what game mode should focus on if you wanna collect more Phoenix Feathers and you don't have uh, energy to collect the other materials, you know, you need to calculate yourself what you actually need the most. I can't tell you, but the most important thing in the game right now is the manual game modes, which is World Boss Legend, GBR, Alliance Battle. If you miss these three, you can't progress anything in the game. It's the only that you actually have to go and play, and it's really hard, all these three, it's really hard, but believe me, it's the most rewarding, and you need to do them 100%. The rest of the game, it's autoplay, so give me a break. If you wanna play the game, play the game, don't sleep on it, and don't have uh, saved 2000 energy or 20,000 energy or whatever. Come on, guys, play the game. So yeah, let's go to the last one. The last one is rotation on the, of the characters. You can do whatever I told you until now and you can still fail on every single game mode in the game if you don't pay attention on the rotation. The rotation is something really important and the, the game is explaining it on this practice mode here but it's not 100% accurate. So what I'm talking about, if you go through your character and you go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh, I did all my skills, why I'm not doing damage, why my character is not doing, I used everything, what's going on, what's wrong, yeah, the point of this game, it's not spamming your skills, it's not like if you have the skill out of cooldown, you need to press it and do something, you need to chill out, relax and see the process of a rotation, here there is a review here for a reason, you need to place the 5th skill, 3rd skill, and after the 4th skill. As you can see, I gave myself 1 second per time, and this is something you need to do for every single character differently. It's really hard, I am struggling, I am struggling, I am making content for multiple characters, I am playing daily with a whole roster of 260 characters, Lies, I'm playing with like 20 of them, but still, you know what I mean. I, I have memorized all these uh, combos or rotations, and if you don't know them, you can go through this practice mode, and after, confirm that the practice mode is right, because in some case, practice mode sucks. But yeah, generally speaking, the practice mode here helps you do damage in the game. The practice mode doesn't tell you that in between this rotation, you need you should go and use your second skill here, you should go and use other skills also, but this is something we content creators have the honor to show you guys, so join our videos and see the rotation. If you play like a madman and you press all the skills like that, doesn't mean that you're doing it faster, you're gonna win, you know? This not gonna provide anything to you, you need to go slowly skill by skill, evaluated this distance, the, the specific timing of the boss, where the boss is, can I hit the boss, you need to think legit, you don't need to smash your keyboard or your phone to play, uh, it's not gonna work, of course you need to press the button fast, but this is something completely different, you need the rotation or else you can't perform on anything in the game, there is multiple players telling me, oh, you bitch, you told me to tier 4 Dr. Octopus, and my Dr. Octopus tier 4 does not do anything with his Awakened skill. Yeah, guys, Dr. Octopus shouldn't supposed to do any damage with his Awakened skill. It's something that you need to know, that you want to focus on 5 cancel, 3 cancel, 4, you want to focus on using his tier 4 skill, not the Awakened skill. The Awakened skill, it's just a filler. I mean... I can give advice to people to what to tier for, what to do, but I consider that you all guys out there knows this as facts. 
If you don't know the rotations, if you're not playing proper the character, it's not my fault and no one can help you with that. Also, double check the practice in game and confirm it, you know, with a video on YouTube. If you know a guy that is legit and can do consistent damage on their vid on his video, go watch how he used the character. Because if you see here the practice, you're seeing just the super combo, like the 5 cancel, 3 cancel, 4. In between, you need to use the other skills. You can't go there and standing still like this until the 5 cancel, 3 cancel, 4 is ready. You need to walk, you need to press your second skill. So the way you playing the character affects a lot the result for every single game mode, for PvP, for PvE, for everything. If you don't know what you're doing in a stage of World Boss Legend, you pretty much gonna die in like a couple of seconds. So you need to pay attention on tactics, on when you use your skills, and all this it's really hard, really hard. And I am struggling too. I'm learning. If you come into my live streams, every single live stream I'm learning something new from you or from veterans or from anyone, you know? I'm trying to improve myself seeing others video, even if I am content creator, doesn't mean like I know better than anyone. I'm still learning and I'm still processing through this beautiful game that it's so hard, so hard, and developers struggling to deliver a specific guide for all these five facts I just told you, and they are really important that you need to pay attention or else you considered noob, you considered bad player, and you can't perform into the game with the way content creators, veterans, or very skilled players are. That was it for today. Hope I helped you improve your gameplay. Hope I helped you getting better player. And let me know your experience down below in the comments if you knew everything, if you just learned something, if you wanna add something yourself, if you think that I forget to mention something, I'm all ears, I can hear your voice, let me know down below in the comments, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, get yourself into the live streams, get yourself into the community post I'm doing, the polls and all this stuff, we want everyone's voice to be heard and that's for noobmaster69 missed from my discord, thank you dude for helping me dropping this video out of nowhere. Hope I helped you everyone, kisses in your faces!